Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I'm doing another M&S haul for you today. So I have been loving shopping on M&S and in fact I'm wearing one of their pieces that I've got from a previous haul because I feel like the clothes are so easy to wear. They wash nicely. They always look really chic. This goes with absolutely everything. Don't need to iron it. So yeah, let me show you what I picked up this time because I definitely have some summer staples. So let's get straight on into the video. So let me show you the first dress and I feel like this is your everything summer dress if you know what I mean by that I feel like you can dress it down and dress it up and I'll show you what it is so it's this really gorgeous blue and white printed midi slash mid dress um I absolutely love the floral print print especially with the blue and white I think it looks really fresh at this time of year I think it looks gorgeous on all skin tones it's got slightly puffed sleeves but not too much and then it cinches in at the waist and then it just flows out really really beautifully now I can imagine this just on a really hot summer's day if you're going on the school run just putting some slides on but still looking really chic or if you're hosting a garden party actually this would be perfect because you could just pop it on with some headbands some slides because you have to be comfy don't you when you're hosting because you're like in and out the house constantly fetching drinks and different bits and bobs but you still want to look nice and you still want to be comfy and be able to eat loads of food I feel like this dress is going to be a really really good option sorry I'm showing you the back so the front has like this higher rounded neckline which I think is really feminine and I don't think you can go wrong with a dress like this I feel like this is going to cover you for all summer events because you could even dress this up to go to a wedding so you imagine this with some heels like a fancy a headband or hat if you prefer hats to more formal events i think this could definitely work and think i feel like you'd look really beautiful really elegant but really understated and just really classic so yeah i absolutely adore this dress i got it in a size 10 i also got the petite and that's another thing that i really like about m s is that they have different lengths even in the dresses so of course their trousers have short long and what do they call it regular but their dresses do as well and I appreciate that because I am, I'm sort of in between a short and um, regular but certainly when I go for leg length I tend to be short because I have shorter legs. Feels really lovely and it was, this was £39.50 which I think is a bargain when you can wear it for so many different things. Now as always I will show you them in the sit down bit and then I try them on after and I'll let you know my updates after each item. Right guys, this blue and white dress, right, I loved it on the hanger and I love it even more now it's on, which, you know, sometimes it looks good on the hanger and then you put it on and you don't feel great or it doesn't quite fit right. Do you know what? I can't believe the shape of this dress because I thought, oh, it has got a bit of a, like a tiny waist. I'm not sure I'm going to get it on or it's going to show all my lumps and bumps. You know, I am a mum of two, so I do have lumps and bumps, but I feel like it's testimony to the thickness of the fabrics that M&S use. I still think it's going to be lightweight for summer though, but I just love the fluted detail that's like at the bottom of this dress. I feel like it smartens it up enough so that you can wear it to like weddings and christenings, like I mentioned before, because I still loved it with like the denim jacket and the canvas shoes this is definitely a keeper for me i also think it's a really really beautiful color and i think it is going to suit a lot of different skin tones please ignore the mark here i've had a bobble on all day and it's left like the biggest red mark because it's quite small and it managed to get quite up my arm but i absolutely love it i honestly don't think there's a better summer dress so yeah cannot rave about this one enough it's very very feminine the puff sleeves are gorgeous they're not too much yeah absolutely gorgeous dress now i did pick up a another summer dress because i just cannot resist a really ditzy floral print so i went for this one it's on like a cottony material and it's these like little purple blue and green flower print it's just absolutely gorgeous i feel like this is a classic a little bit more dressed down than the previous dress i'm not sure you could get away with wearing this to a wedding mind you it might be too is it too wide i mean obviously it's very printed but i'm always just very wary of things like that but actually if you've got a nice christening coming up this dress might do if you put some heels on with it but i say it's a little bit more laid back because it's got this ruche detail which is really gorgeous because it kind of like comes in goes up it to a point which i think is going to just help cinch in and then comes back down and it's got this bow in the middle and i'm hoping when i put that on i can really tighten it up again real puff sleeve so it's going to look really casual could you imagine going on a picnic in this dress I feel like you're going to look amazing and it's long enough if you're playing like cricket like we do or rounders and it has a like a hem like another piece of 
fabric at the bottom I don't know if you can see but it kind of like floats out at the bottom as well I think it's going to be a really cool flowy piece for this summer I think again it's going to be another staple I got this in a 10 I went regular this time I don't know why I went regular maybe they didn't have the short in this one I don't know but it was £39.50 so this one might fit more like a maxi on me and the other one might fit more like a midi and I feel like to get my money's worth out of this I'll definitely be using it as like an office transitional piece dressing it up with some brown boots I even think actually because we've been really enjoying going away on like really short European city breaks something like this with just some trainers and a bag pack on I think you're gonna look really chic and it can go from sort of like on the run in the day going to visit all the sites but then also going out in the evening and you still want to feel nice I feel like this dress is a really good transition piece from day to night in the summer when it's a little bit warmer and you want to sit out and yeah could you imagine even just like going to the country pubs and stuff in the summer sitting out in the gardens I feel like this dress is going to look absolutely gorgeous right guys the second dress I absolutely love it but it's just slightly too big on me so I'm very narrow shouldered and I don't have a big bust so it's just a a little bit too big around here and I can feel it falling down which is such a shame and it's very dramatic a little bit more dramatic than the last dress but I feel like if this was in the right size it would look absolutely beautiful I love the cut of it and I really love this detail on and I will say this is real so you can properly cinch it in if you've got a tiny waist you can really cinch it in and give yourself a really nice silhouette so I did pop it on with some boots for um, like a transitional kind of look however I don't have a blazer that fully matches this um color the only cream blazer i've got if you can see is this kind of like it's like a more of a warm tone which didn't quite go with this because this is cool tone um but even though the sleeves are dramatic i was still able to get that blazer on i just um didn't think it quite suited that outfit but yeah such a shame because it's such a pretty flowy dress it's going to be great for garden parties and also when i first put it on i was thinking this is like the perfect afternoon tea dress but yeah if you're like me narrow shoulders and a small bust i'll definitely recommend sizing down okay so this next item is definitely been inspired by what i've been saving on pinterest recently i know it's a trend with the items that i was liking and this one kept coming up so i bought it from m s because i know that they again do the length so i went for a 10 short in this it's 35 pounds and and is a maxi denim skirt now i absolutely love pencil skirts and i love maxi skirts so i had to get this one in denim because i feel like it's a little bit more relaxed for everyday wear it has got a little bit of a slit up the front but not too high i like it they keep it classy don't they at mls it's not too high um and do you know what i really love i love this raw hem that they've got going on around at the bottom here this will just be an everyday wear like everyday item for me i can see myself wearing it a lot i'll say the denim on this is very soft so i feel like with some denims particularly when they do skirts they use that really thick denim that you can't really move in now i'll be out and about with the girls shopping running my errands i need to be comfy and i feel like this is going to be it so of course it's got the it's very like classic in the mid-tone blue which is great because it'll go with absolutely everything so it's got the pockets at the front and it also has pockets at the back and i also think it will look lovely if you dress it down with a beach bag and stuff like that and i've got a really nice one that i'm about to show you oh my gosh guys i absolutely love this color of blue in denim it goes with just everything in my wardrobe so i've styled it up with my green trench coat and it just looks fabulous it's such a classic blue shade the skirt is absolutely amazing it fits lovely so i'm a size 10 and i would say i'm definitely more hippie and it kind of just skims over really nicely but what i would say is if you are on the bigger end of your size size up if you know you're going to be going for pub lunches and stuff stuff in this but it's super comfy like i said before the denim is really really soft and the slit as well which can be a deal breaker sometimes on skirts the way that they've designed this is that it is a very subtle slit so it's not one of those skirts where like you're worried when it's windy because it's just going to like blow open they've done it in a way where it's kind of like i don't know how they've done the stitching but it's kind of like a slit but it's like a concealed slit i can't really explain it but yeah it's not like you're gonna have loads of leg on show but i think it gives it a really modern edge it's got like this i didn't realize like this triangular stitch in here and i feel like that just i feel like that just adds another element to it i feel very very trendy in this piece i really really love it i feel like it's an everyday piece but when you feel a little bit more put together so yeah 
love this one totally recommend it i've got to show you this item next because i keep wearing it with the next i'm gonna keep wearing it i think with the next items because it just goes with all of them and it's this gorgeous gorgeous beach bag look how beautiful that is i like the size of this this isn't overly big if you're petite like me it's not completely oversized where you feel a little bit silly carrying it but it still has loads of room in it it also has this part as well so if you are traveling and you are going to busy cities you can tighten this up to just you know help prevent anything getting lost or stolen Poland, um, which is really good because obviously you have to be aware of these things when you're traveling abroad i think it will make a really good city break bag again or even if you are just going to the beach but i think with the black details of the black stripes and the black sort of like leather look handles i think that this looks a little bit smarter than a normal beach bag and you could even if you've got more of like a casual office you could probably even get away with going to the office of this and i do feel like if you've got a smallish laptop it will fit in here as well so this was 29 pound 50 but it's definitely going to be one of those items that you can wear year after year and it's still going to look fabulous i feel like even with this jumper it looks nice you know it's becoming into like transit wait we're doing like transitional outfits so like something like this denim skirt bag like this i like the length of the handles as well so you can't change the length of them but they're not so short that it looks like you know you know it's not like difficult you're gonna feel awkward carrying it but they're not too long where it feels uncomfortable it's like this nice kind of like laid back look if you know what i mean okay so i got the skirt in blue and i also had to get it in black as well because oh i just couldn't resist i couldn't resist so i went for the black denim as well the black one is also just as soft and pliable and it's going to be just as comfy um again 35 pounds i went for the 10 short length um it does also have the split up and also the raw hen i thought with the black one we could definitely again wear this to the office if you've got more of a relaxed like dress code in the office and you don't have to wear like properly formal items if you know what i mean um because you can dress it up and still make it look smart with like a white shirt a nice bag just some like smart shoes but again of course you're gonna be able to dress this down with just a little jumper or something but i thought you could even do date night in this if you've got some high heeled black shoes you've got a nice little top on i think this is gonna look fabulous and again i feel like this is a really staple piece i know they're very trendy at the minute these like midi and maxi denim skirts but for me, I can see it being something that I wear season after season because I do love a midi and maxi skirt. I think that it's functional and it's comfy, but it still feels very feminine. And sometimes jeans, you know, you just want to feel a little bit more feminine than if you're wearing jeans. So yeah, I really, really love these skirts. So I really hope they fit nice. Okay, so the black skirt. So it's as comfy as the blue one. If anything, actually, I'd say that this one comes up very slightly larger around the waist. So I found this one slightly more comfortable, but the denim is just as soft and just as lovely. And I've always tended to find in clothes, it's usually the darker items that run smaller, and I don't know why. But yeah, this one runs slightly bigger. I really liked it with the heeled boots, and I think it would make a great date night outfit. Um, I liked it more with the boots than I thought. I thought for me that these would definitely just be more so everyday pieces, but especially this black one. I feel like it would be a great, like, more night out kind of skirt. So, yeah, really, really liked it. The only thing I would say is, I think I mentioned in the sit-down clips that if you had a casual office, then you might be able to get away with this in the office. I'd say maybe the slit is actually slightly too high, but I suppose it depends on the office and how you feel comfortable-wise. But, yeah, again, really love it. Feel very very trendy with this piece on again it's i know it's very trendy now but i still feel like this is very simple and classic and basic and i know for me that i'm definitely gonna get my money's worth out of these items and particularly this one because i think even in winter that you could kind of dress this up maybe with tights and boots um, and the blue one you could probably do it with tights and brown boots as well now i picked up a t-shirt but a little bit of a different t-shirt actually and it's this really gorgeous black and cream one now on the website it kind of looks like knitted material but when you get it it's more like crochet material which is good if you're wearing it on a hot day because you're going to get the breeze and it's going to feel nice. Although saying that, you could definitely put some sort of like undergarment um, 
in the winter to keep you warm and I just thought it was a very very chic it's very basic but it's just one of those items that's going to go with everything again you can dress this up you can dress this down it's going to look really chic if you go into the office wearing something like this but it's also going to look really nice if you're just out and about on a shopping day you've got this on skirt on beach bag on it's going to look lovely I feel like I don't know black and cream is a real classic and what I like about m and is they never go for the stark white they make it this lovely really off-white color and I think that helps make it look a little bit more expensive I picked this up in the small and it was 25 pounds but again I can see myself wearing this with so many different outfits so jumping on to talk about this black t-shirt I mean it's just an absolute classic I feel like you're gonna buy this piece and you just know you're gonna wear it and you're gonna get your money's worth out of it because obviously you can dress it up you can dress it down it's really comfy actually when you put it on the skin so I think sometimes crocheted materials can feel a little bit hard and stiff this one isn't at all it's really soft it's really pliable so if that does bother you I think this t-shirt would be okay I just popped a little black vest top underneath it and I would say it is true to size the shoulders fit really nicely and I think you can see my um, vest top more on camera than actually in real life and I think that's just because the sun is coming in this way and the camera sort of like I don't know I feel like sometimes it overcompensates but yeah in real life it's hardly noticeable but of course you could wear something nude anyway yeah, very very happy with this top so yeah definitely another keeper okay so the final item I always like to throw a little bit of a curveball item in there for me because I can get very much stuck in the same shapes and styles and you feel like you're wearing the same thing all of the time so I have gone for something a little bit different and it might not be incredibly out there for some people but it's not something that I would actually normally wear and I've gone for this cream knitted vest um, again it's actually very similar to that black top in the fact that it's quite crocheted and I thought this would be really lovely if you're going on a summer holiday this year if you're going abroad you know where people just like took them into like some like cream shorts or some linen shorts and again I think it's going to keep you cool because it's quite holy you know what I mean um but in the winter or if you're wearing this to the office you could definitely layer this over a shirt I thought again this could be worn many different ways so more laid back look um maybe even with the denim skirt and the beach bag with some like chunky sandals would look nice but also like I said yeah to the office I'd probably wear a shirt underneath this and maybe some navy trousers so I'll give that a go and see if it looks nice um, but yeah I did really like it for saying it's something that's different for me I went for like a safe colour because it's a different item if you know what I mean so safe colour um, and then I can just like trial it in my wardrobe so this was so I got this in the small again and it was £25 and yeah I can't wait to give that a go because like I said I do like to try different things and I feel like these vests have been in or like layering vests has been in for a long time but it's something that I've been reluctant to try so yeah we're going to give it a go okay so I'm going to give a feedback on the vest top now so it is a little bit harder I would say it's a little bit harder crochet than the black top but nothing that's irritated my skin or anything although I don't have the most sensitive skin really really liked it in the relaxed look more than I expected to because this one is the curveball for me but I do like to get one in every haul um, and then I popped it on with this kind of like more formal smart look I don't know if it's just me not being used to like layering I'm not somebody who really layers I normally just wear dresses or really simple outfits there's part of me that loves it and then there's part of me that's like oh I'm not sure I don't know if the holes are a little bit too big a little bit I don't know whether the crochet is a little bit too kind of laid back style for dressing up smart but then when I step back I think oh actually it looks okay um but what I'd say is as well with this one so there is quite a lot of material actually at the bottom so if you're going to wear it loose then I think go for your normal size however if you know like me that you're going to tuck it in a lot I think you'd be able to get away with sizing down because I think you have got a little bit of room on the arms and it just means there's a little bit less fabric around here although you can do sort of like a roll and tuck which is what I've been doing um, in these try on clips but yeah what do you think let me know and that was it for this haul I really do hope that you enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one thank you so much for watching bye bye